All right, guys. Um, recently, I have got a very interesting discovery, and I decided to make it public so that everyone can be benefited from my discovery. Here is that we actually can use the Fuji Film simulation on any camera. I mean, all those classic neck or um. Acro simulation or something like that can be used on your Sony, Canon, Nik, Nikon, or anything like that. The reason is that、uh, I think I should explain it later and make this tutorial short. The first thing that we need is the tools. You need Adobe Lightroom or Camera. You need Adobe DNG Converter. Uh, because you are, if you are converting the file from another branded camera like Sony, then you have to convert the ARW file to DNG, so that so that you are using a universal file instead of the brand's own raw. The third tool that you need is、uh, Exif tool, and、uh, all those three tools. Can be downloaded for free and are available for both Windows and Mac.、Uh, except for Lightroom, of course, it's not free, but、um, you can use the trial version, right? So the next step is that we have to convert the file from RAW to DNG. So how to convert it? It's very simple. We include first. We select the. We can select the folder that we have the pictures, and then we click convert here. And、uh, you might want to check the preferences here, and make sure that you want to do the things that you want. Okay, so it says now it has been converted. So let's have a check here. Okay, it's a very beautiful DNG. The next thing that you want to do is to hold Shift and right-click on your mouse, then choose to open the PowerShell window or Command CMD window over there. Now let's input the. Command that I have provided here, which is Exif2 model. Model equals to this exact exact command. We copy and then paste it somewhere. Paste it here. Add a space after that. Remember to add the space. This is very important. And then drag the file that you have pro you have converted into here. Now it says one image file is updated. So let's double click on it. So now we can double click on it, and、uh, wait the、uh, Photoshop to loading. Okay, so now it has a camera, and click on profile here. Browse profiles. Initially, it would be running at Adobe Run, but Adobe RAW, but now it should be available to use the camera matching here. You have all those Fuji filmation here. See that Eternal Cinema and Classic Mac and Bleach Bypass, Acros. Anything you want is here. Oh, by the way, I downloaded this file from DP Review. Uh, just as a sample, I don't own this photo. I use it just as a sample for this tutorial. 
so basically I think that Adobe has integrated the filters into their programs but the problem is that usually you can't get access to these um, to the filters on other brand of cameras so in this case we can just modify the axis information to trick Adobe into that you are using a Fuji camera so the reason that I choose the GFX 100S is that it has a sensor that is very similar to A7R4 uh, it's not a X trans sensor, it's a barrier sensor. So the film simulation made for GFX 100S should be usable or more accurate on normal cameras with barrier sensors. So, and yes, it has more filters than other Fuji film cameras too. So why not? Just use that. Okay, so the tutorial is here. Wish you are safe and sound.